Um, my name is Sara Cinkotti, I'm from Italy. Um, my name is Emma Allen and I'm from France and Switzerland but grew up internationally and was born in the US. My name is Mickey Drucker and I'm from Los Angeles, California in the US. I am Tamanna and I'm from India. My name is Alexander Chan Kang, I go by Alex and I'm from the United States. My name is Mariam Bilge, I'm coming from Georgia. So my name is Mariella and I'm coming from Malta. Persecution in the case of uh, persecution versus uh, Erdemovic. My role at MICC is on the defense team of the Frederick Flick case. At the MICC, I was privileged enough to be selected as a judge. My role at the MICC is uh, working on the press team, so I've been going around conducting interviews, writing articles, working with different professionals to understand more about the trials going on here, as well as the local culture investment. Attending the MICC helped me understand international law and international criminal justice on a level that I didn't learn in the classroom. In the classroom, I think you learn about the specific legal reasoning that goes into every decision. You learn about how and why the law plays a role, especially in international criminal situations. But what MICC taught me more beyond that was how to work with the actual people, my future colleagues in the field, who we have to overcome our own cultural backgrounds, our biases and communication barriers to work in the field. So earlier as a law student, I only approached international law and criminal law from the perspective of law, legal elements and um, a very restrictive form, I would say. But after attending MICC, I was asked to focus on not just the law, but something that is beyond that, on the narrative that you present before the court, on the greater uh, context of the case and something that is bigger than the defendant or the victim themselves. It, it did help a lot also, not only the case, but like the workshops that we did before, like understanding human rights and also the different perspectives of members, like participants. And it's pretty self-evident. I mean, we read the Rome Statute and you apply to a real life case. So you understand how criminal justice work and you also understand how difficult it is to pick a side as well. So it is just very enriching. So I don't have a law background and I, I know about criminal justice, but to be here at MICC and really talk to so many people who are not only invested in the topics that we're looking at, but who have studied law and also understand law in a different fashion than I do has been really eye-opening because there is a global structure surrounding that and everything sort of does revolve around law. So the work that the ICC does is actually really important on both a symbolic and practical level. Georgia ratified ICC in 2003. Personally, I'm really happy that we're a member of ICC court because uh, we have a lot of problems going on in the Georgia and around a lot of unresolved conflicts since we left Soviet Union. The U.S. is not a party to the ICC, which is, in my opinion, really unfortunate. As one of the big world leaders, I think it's important that the U.S. has a role in the ICC. 
My country, Malta, is part of the ICC. Uh, I'm not familiar with um, the part that Malta plays in um, ICC, um, so I'm not that familiar with the concept and the, the procedure. India is not a member of the Rome Statute and it is for multiple reasons. Uh, first, a multilateral treaty would only be binding and useful when multiple superpowers are also a part of it and so like unless and until US, UK and other uh, significant powers don't join the Rome Statute, India I feel does not see uh, the point of joining it. getting to build a prosecution case and understand how to argue like a lawyer, that is probably the most uh, valuable thing that, I, that I'm getting away from this. that I hope to take away from my experience at MICC. The first is just communicating in relationships that I've made with the other participants. I've met people from places I've never been, places that I've always wanted to go. Um, I've met people who have lived experiences and things that I have only learned about. So definitely I hope to take knowledge back, back home. Um, and better understanding of ICC and the cases before the ICC and also MICC and also great friendships and great memories as well. I would tell future participants of the MICC to not be too nervous in their approach to the program, to let themselves feel free and flexible in communicating with others and to really just enjoy it and have fun. So I believe that uh, when you are coming to the MICC, you essentially are a blank slate and you are taught everything from scratch and there is a lot of unlearning involved. So I believe that uh, you should just come with an open mind and that should be enough. Yeah. Take the best out of the opportunities, volunteer to engage, try to be active and most importantly engage with your international colleagues as you can learn invaluable point of views from them that otherwise can never be taught to you. Um, my advice to future participants of my ICC is basically to strike a balance between working and learning and um, creating friendships and having conversations with different people because I think knowledge is gained through those experiences as well.